Okay, hi. Uh, today we're gonna troubleshoot the 08X and uh, 010X. So what happened is that uh, in this case, if let's say your front motor is not moving, only your rear motor is moving. Okay. Regardless, either way. Okay. So now I'm gonna set it to full throttle. Okay. Front motor is not moving. Rear motor is moving. This is a diagnostic video. I'm gonna show you how to identify is it the controller issue or is it the motor issue. Okay, in this case, if let's say, uh, let's start. I'm gonna remove the AC tapes. Okay. Do not throw it on the ground, you'll get dirty. Okay, we'll use it later on. Okay, remove the nine screws. This one is. No padding. Next, all these uh, tapes. Okay, once this is done, we need to identify which controller goes to the front motor, which controller goes to the rear. So, very simple. Gonna pull out all the wires. Take out the two controllers. Okay. Don't use too much force; you might uh, break any cables. Huh? Basically, two controllers and two motor wires. Okay. How to identify which one is the front motor? The wire has to go to the front. The rear motor will go to the left. This is the rear motor cable. Okay. Further up, you will see the three face wires. Green, yellow, blue. And then the five four sensor wire. Okay, usually paired with this connector. Okay. So, how to test the front motor? So in this case, you're not sure if the motor is damaged or the controller is down. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna swap it over. Okay. Remove the face wires. Some call it motor cable. Okay. Remember not to get them mixed up. Okay. So this one is the front controller. Gonna swap it to the rear controller. Okay, always check the colors before you plug it back in. Okay, always have the connectors covered properly. Okay, if you don't cover them properly, what will happen is that the motor will still jam. Next, swap back the swap the hall sensor wire. Okay, now we have this controller, which is previously the rear motor on the front motor. So now we're gonna test. Okay, same thing, switch it on. Now Shorter. The front motor is moving, but the rear motor is not doing anything. Okay. In this event, what we can determine is the front motor is working properly. The controller for the front is at fault. Then we have to identify what is wrong with the controller. Okay. Now we try to plug in to the rear motor first. Working unit. Front motor is moving. But your rear motor is not moving. How are we going to diagnose it? So very simple, switch off the unit, same thing, 
identify the front motor to the controller. Okay, so we're gonna use this controller to test the rear motor. Okay, so same thing. Remove force sensor from this controller. So remember, your front motor is working. So I'm gonna test the rear motor. Okay, if you see this error, that means the front motor is not connected. Okay, but now my rear motor is moving. Now my rear motor is moving. So, this method of diagnostic allows me to tell that this controller, controller A, can control motor A and B, meaning both motor is working, controller B is at fault. Okay?